Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the Advanced SQL 50 series where we are trying to solve 50 advanced SQL problems on topics like select basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and advanced topics like window functions and common table expressions. In this video, we are going to solve this question called daily leads and partners and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the 24th video of this series called daily leads and partners. And if we look at what the question has to say, we are given a table called daily sales with four different columns date id make name lead id and partner id there is no primary key that is column with unique values for this table so it may contain duplicates this table contains the date and the name of the product sold and the ids of the lead and the partner it was sold to the name consists of only lowercase english letters we are asked for each date id and make name find the number of distinct lead ids and distinct partner ids order of the result does not matter okay so here we have various dates right and various records make name lead id and partner id so for example 8th of december 2020 and Toyota, how many distinct lead IDs are there? So there are zero and one. So two distinct lead IDs and similarly, how many distinct partner IDs? So one, zero and two. So three. So for 8th of December 2020 and Toyota, two distinct lead IDs and three distinct partner IDs. And similarly, we can go ahead and do for all other date IDs and make name. So here we have for 8th of December 2020, Toyota, two unique leads and three unique partners. Okay. So what we need to do is we can go ahead and group by the date ID and the make name and then count the number of distinct lead IDs and alias this as unique leads and then count the number of pa distinct partner IDs and unique partners. Now, if you want to make your solution even more generalized even though this question says that make name is going to have only lowercase english letters what you can do is you can make sure that it is always lowercase by using group by lower of make name right so what we can do is we can do from this table called daily sales we can go ahead and group by the date id and then yes you can go ahead and directly do make name because the question already says that everything is going to be in the lower case but i just like to generalize so that if in future there is a test case added make names not always being in the lower case and in the real world also right you just think about it there is going to be data anomalies so better to incorporate that in your code beforehand so lower of make name and then what we can do is we can return these two things. So copy this here, return the date ID and the make name and let's alias this as make name because in our output we need that as make name. And then what we need to do is we need to count the distinct lead IDs, right? So count the distinct lead ID and alias this as unique leads. And then we also need to count the distinct partner ID and alias this as unique partners. Okay. I think this looks good since we do not need to order this by anything. Uh, let me go ahead and run this so that it's see what we can get in our output. So yeah, this is accepted our output. If we like just drag it to the left our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how to do it not a very difficult question all we had to do was group by the date id and the make name and i included a lower case just in case in future there are test cases that try to test that and then we counted distinct number of lead ids and alias this as unique leads and counted the distinct number of partner ids and have that as unique partners so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video